With only a few days left until the 54th running of the AJC Peachtree Road Race, runners are preparing to run beneath a blistering sun. Recent temperatures here in Atlanta have been less than desirable for running. 11 Live's Jerry Carnes is here with tips on how to handle the heat on the 4th. Hey, Jerry. Good morning, Ariana. Like they do every year, the Atlanta Track Club will have a medical tent near the finish line of the AJC Peachtree Road Race to deal with any issues, including crop problems caused by the heat. There will be emergency medical technicians all along the course. Of course, there are things you can do before and during the race to avoid problems. They are preparing their bodies for what could be a blistering 4th of July beneath the Georgia sun that acts like it's designed to defeat them. All of my training revolves around heat. Hydrating, uh, trying to run when it's, it's a lot cooler and not, you know, not when the, the heat is at its max. They will spend the fourth on the hot asphalt of Atlanta, knowing the people behind the AJC Peachtree Road Race are ready to protect them. They have plenty of water stations. They have the sprinklers that I love to run through. It brings the temperature down, so they they prepare. They've, they're very prepared. The medical director for the world's largest 10K says even if temperatures are in the 70s at race time, the humidity can cause major problems. Between the heat and the excess humidity, the body has trouble to cool itself. Uh, and then you get to a certain point where the temperature elevates to where then the body's not able to function as it normally should. Sweat helps cool your body during exercise. The more you sweat, the more important it is to hydrate. Dr. Jonathan Kim says runners should make good use of the peach trees. Many water stops have something to drink once every 10 minutes for the average runner. That's once a mile and pay attention to signs that you may be overheating confusion, certainly feeling a little disoriented, um, feeling weak. Veterans of the peach tree know what's coming. I've been here since 94, so I've got accustomed to the Georgia heat. Anyone unfamiliar with the steamy days of summer in Atlanta, Peachtree Street on the 4th of July is a good place to learn. And every 4th of July, the Atlanta Track Club uses a multicolored alert system to keep runners informed about conditions during the race. The Track Club tells me the race will likely start in yellow, which means caution if conditions warrant. They could move to red, which means conditions might potentially be dangerous for some runners. Never in the history of the race, uh, Ariana, has the alert system gone to black, which means the heat and humidity are so extreme, officials have to stop the race. Hopefully, it won't happen this year. Yes, certainly, but I know a lot of people are preparing themselves to run in the heat on the 4th of July. Thank you so much, and don't forget that you can hang out with us to watch the race if you don't want to stand along the race line. Our special coverage begins next Tuesday, the 4th of July, starting at 4.30 a.m. right here on 11 Alive.